is this Lego creator expert winter village post office missing one piece. Ah, she got this for $29.99 at the Goodwill. It took one month to sell and it sold for full asking price of. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to share with you 30 unexpected or big money bolos. This first one, whew, oh my goodness, wait until you see this big money bolo. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are members of my Bolo Buddies channel, and this is a featured members video. So let's get started. I'm going to knock your socks off. All right, are you ready for the first item? First, I'm gonna tell you who sold it. This first item comes from Ramblin' Rose Resale, and I will link her store down below in the description, along with every store that is featured in this video. If they have a YouTube channel, that will be linked as well. And if they have a YouTube channel, they are a reseller YouTube channel, so be sure to follow them for bolo items items to be on the lookout for. All right, so Ramblin' Rose Resale, here is what she sold. Actually, let's start with the other two she sold, which are pretty fantastic also. All right, the first one is this Lifelike Racing HO Electric Racing NASCAR track. It's a motorsport loop, so it's kind of like a race car track here. She got this for $12.99 at the Salvation Army, and she sold it for $125 best offer. This next one's pretty interesting also. It's um, a Shriners Masonic wool cap. It's got ta the tassel, pins. Um, let me show you here. So it's got quite a few like nice features to it for somebody who collects. It's got the original box, it looks like, and the manuals. And she got this at an estate sale for $10 and sold it for a best offer of $150. Are you ready? $1.99 at the Salvation Army. She found this rare vintage briar horse. Oh my goodness, this one is special. She put it up for auction and it sold for $1,525. Look at it. If you ever see this, you are definitely going to want to pick up this big money bolo. How amazing is that? Let me see if I can um, find a marking on it. Usually it's on the inner um, side of the leg, but I don't know if maybe some of them are marked differently. I'm not seeing a marking on this one. It would be like right here on the inside, but I don't see it. Anybody know? Let me know in the comments if you know. Maybe the older ones don't have that marking, but prior horse. <laughs> $1,500. That is amazing. All right. The next item comes from Zeph Eclectics. And this is her eBay store. And she does this with her kids. So shout out to them for working with their mom and making this uh, eBay store an awesome thing. And I'm going to show you some cool items that she sold. Um, things that I don't typically source, but she did really well with them. This is an old ledger, leather bound book, unused. It's a blank ruled journal. And um, I like how she's got it propped up here. Let me show you. She's got the front, the inner pages. I mean, can you believe it? She sold this for a best offer of $68, took less than a week to sell, and she got it at the Goodwill for $1. The next item she sold, and she's been hitting the books pretty hard and doing a really good job. Um, she said that she goes in and she stands back and she looks for things that catches her eye. Um, and she's also looking for things that are series. Like this is a um, Brian Lum Lumley Neuroscope novel series. And it looks like it's horror, thriller, scary books. And she got these at the Goodwill for $6 and took a best offer of $65 in two weeks. So they're selling quickly. That's another key point to be made here. Uh, Mercedes Lackey Book Lot, three complete trilogy 
Uh, so it looks like these are another series of books. It looks like some are maybe hardback and then some are soft cover. And she got these at the Goodwill. She said the hardcover were a dollar and the paperback are 50 cents. So she's got about $7.50 in this. Took three days to sell and she sold them for a best offer of $60. So definitely be on the lookout for books that are in series. And it looks like right here, it didn't really matter that, you know, some were hardback and some were softback. All right. The next comes from Ray Nathan RZ09. Another fantastic eBay store. She's the one that's been selling the Bratz dolls that were her daughter's. And she is doing awesome with those, but lots of great items. So check her out. And she sold this Viewmaster. It's by Mattel, Fisher Price, Talking Super Sounds 3D Viewer and Nine Real Lot from 2004. So we got some Dora, SpongeBob, Safari, and it's little Viewmaster here. And she sold this for full price of $42.99 plus shipping. And she got this at a thrift store for $2.99. The next item she sold is this Authentic Kids Patchwork Quilt Pirate and Pillowcase Sham Set. And here it is. Super cute. And twin size with alter alterations. So it's even been altered and still sold for this. Uh, she got this at the Goodwill for $2.99. And, oh, it was I'm sorry. It was $2.99 for the sham and $2.99 for the quilt. And she sold that for $59.99 plus shipping. The next item is this Early Winters LTD Brass Lantern and Candle. And it comes with this leather pouch. She got this from her sister, so it was free, and it sold for $79.99. No idea if I would have picked that up if I would have seen it. <laughs> cool item, though, for sure. And the next item she sold is this Katie Cat Sterling Publishing Hardcover Pop-Up Book Vintage. How cute is that? And um, that is cute. It was her daughter, so free, essentially. And she sold this for $49.99 plus shipping. And it was a pre-owned, very good item from 1998. Okay, the next one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. She has an awesome YouTube channel, so I will link her down below. You definitely want to sub her up. She does um, videos that are called Let's Talk About It. And it's a live show. And she brings to you different categories that she teaches about. So definitely be sure to check out her live show. And, well, I'm going to show you one thing that she sold here. Tic Tac Gum. She picked this up at a, I think it was like a warehouse sale. And she is just selling it like crazy. Um, it is sold under collectibles because at this point in time, it is discontinued, harder to find, and people collect it. Um I know, crazy things people collect, right? I do have a video on candy, vintage candy that people collect. Crazy money in vintage candy. Check that video out. This one sold for $34.99, $129.99. And this is not a fluke, you guys. This is actually happening in her store over and over and over again. $129.99. This one, best offer, best offer, but still probably sold for over $100. And you can follow her on Instagram where she also posts um, her solds. So that's a great way if you're on Instagram just to see pop-ups of different things she's selling. She is definitely a bolo finder. She sold this Bubba Keg. Now this one is not big money, but when I was flipping through her store and I saw the Bubba Keg, I used to have a Bubba Keg and I'm like, I have got to feature the Bubba Keg because probably like me, you're gonna be like, I had one of those. Um, she sold this for $29.99 plus shipping, and she got this at the Goodwill bins. The next item she sold is this vintage R. Dakin orange drooper puppy dog plush stuffed animals, and it says toy nutshells. Now, the reason I wanted to feature this is because it is just a beat up old plush. <laughs> and, you know, some of these, it's just unbelievable. And it looks like, Yep, shredded ground nutshells. So it has nutshells for the um, 
inside. So you definitely want to read that tag. And I would say put that in the title. She sold this guy for $49.99 plus shipping. And she picked him up for 53 cents in a bulk lot. All right. The next items come from Laureen's Used Books and Things. That is her eBay store. She will be linked down below. She has lots of great stuff, a really great eye for uh, vintage and cool finds. So she's got some breakables. You guys know I don't do breakables, but okay. From time to time, I do a breakable or two. But anyway, look at this. This is an antique frame. My husband loves picking up vintage and antique frames. We actually went to a garage sale this weekend and he bought a print because he liked the frame and he'll put different things in them. But anyway, this one's really, really nice. Very cool. It's, um, let's see. She got it at a thrift store for $3.99. She said it took about six months to sell and she sold it for $68 plus shipping. The next item is this Lego Creator Expert Winter Village Post Office. Missing one piece. Ah! She got this for $29.99 at the Goodwill. It took one month to sell and it sold for full asking price of $349.95 plus shipping with a missing piece. Unbelievable, right? The next item she sold is this Coach Pocket Purse Turn Lock Crossbody Shoulder Black Leather Purse. She got this at a thrift store for $10 uh, and it took 10 days to sell and she took a best offer of $100. And don't know why I got that there. Sorry about that. Okay, Cha-Ching King. If you are not following the Cha-Ching Cha -ching King over on YouTube, you definitely need to be. He is amazing and his channel is just, it's awesome. He just bought some really fantastic lockers. Uh, this one right here is a massive storage locker abandoned for more than 20 years. Wait until you see what was in it. Um, I am going to give you a little clue with one of his solds. And then also check out the vintage skateboards video and just check out his channel. It's amazing. All right. So the first item is this Tory Burch pajama pants silk blouse set. It retails for $900. He said that he went to, let's see, let me find it here. It was a church sale. And he said, I, I, if I remember correctly, um, I'm not reading it note for note right now, but he said there was a whole rack and it was like a high-end section and it was a bunch of these items and they were 30 to $40. And I think he said he bought everything on the rack. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. But he paid 40 for this one and it sold for $389.99. Could you imagine walking up to a church sale with a rack of high-end clothing that retails for these crazy prices? It's just unbelievable. So he he really finds he he has uh he has an eye for quality good items, but he also like these private picks that he gets and these storage units. He has found some lucky finds for sure. All right. This little bench, it's a vintage dollhouse miniature bench and it's for, it's dollhouse furniture, essentially. Super cool item. He got this at a private estate pick. So again, um, very, very fortunate of him to run into this. He said he paid $1,200 for everything and he's already cleared $10,000 and he has over 100 items left. This one piece sold for $124.99. Again, you want to definitely check out his channel. This is a vintage Nash Shark skateboard, uh, sidewalk, surfboard, wood, steel wheels. And I know he picked up, um, I think he sold two or three of these so far in the $80 range. So again, check out that skateboard video that he did. And his eBay store is Old School Wear. You can see it right here. And the skateboard was also an estate, a uh, private pick, private invitation. And he paid five bucks for it. The next item here are the de Deadstock Ringer Tees. And he sold one lot of 12 for $99.99 and he has four available. So if anybody needs any ringer tees, 
I think he said he's going to make some merch with some of them. I don't know if he's done that yet, but um, that'll be cool. He can put his logo on it and stuff like that. So pretty awesome. So that was part of what was in that locker. But in um, I think it was over on Instagram, I saw where he found something else amazing in that locker. So check out his Instagram also, Cha-Ching King. All right. This is Vichy's Treasures. And awesome eBay store here. Lots of variety. So you can check her out down below. And she sold this spider ornament by Patience Brewster. It's Halloween decor, Mackenzie Childs. And she got this at the actual store on clearance for $9.99. And she sold this for $39.95. Let me get you some more pictures here. How cool is that? So just a fun little ornament there. The next item she sold are these plates. They are Fire King Jadeite Oven Glass Jan or Jane Ray dinner plates. And she got these for $3 each on an auction and sold them for $39.95 plus shipping. All right, these flip-flops. They are L.L. Bean Orange Shepra lined sandals. And they're size 8. She got these at a garage sale for $2 and sold them for $32.50 on best offer. All right, the next one comes from Money Making Mama. Check out her YouTube channel if you have not already. She does, um, she does things a little differently. And you're going to see here when I show you. But she picks things up at um, a place called Dirt Cheap. And she buys a bunch of them and she lots them up and she does really well. Healthy beauty bolos. Check that out. Check out her what solds. Those are going to help you understand what she's doing and how she's doing it. It's, it's a great, it's a great thing. So these are uh, dinner plates, mugs, bowls, uh, Foscroft, I think, I don't know how to say it, but she got these at the Goodwill for 10 bucks and sold them for $159.99. Okay. So here we go. Five Nair for Men hair removal spray. Okay, so you're getting five of them. She picked these up for $1.50 each at Dirt Cheap, and she sold them for $89.99 plus shipping, and she sold two lots. The next item she sold are these Fit Right Ultra Adult Diapers, and she got these for $2 a piece at the Goodwill. She bought 50 packs, and she said she sold a lot of them over on um, Facebook also, and she's selling them for $45.99 plus shipping. The next item are these lot of 15 new Shopkins Season 8 Boarding to Europe World Vacation Twin Room. So um, they're little Shopkins. She got these at Dirt Cheap for 10 cents each, so they were 10 for a dollar. They were like in a bin for 10 for a dollar. And she sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. Or I'm sorry, free shipping on that. Restored Glory. And it looks like she is over on Whatnot also. I'm assuming she's Restored Glory over there. So be sure to follow her on Whatnot. Um, I need to make sure that I do that because I just saw that she was on there. But if you guys are not uh, checking out Whatnot, it's pretty awesome. It's a great way to source um, I have not done my first show yet, but by the time this airs, maybe I will have. So follow Bolo Buddies over there also. It's just Bolo Buddies, all one word. That's how you can find me. I'll also have a link down below that will take you there. And if you use that link to join, you'll get $10 credit to shop. So free money. All right, YouTube channel. She does a lot of collectibles and glass. You will really enjoy her channel. Check her out. And she sold this vintage retro mid-century modern Viking glass owl fairy lamp, which you guys know I love owls. Look how pretty it is. I love it. Um, she got this at an antique mall. Now, she did pay up for it. She paid $90 for it and sold it for $130. So still, she made some money. But um, I would say, you know, you're going to want to try to source cheaper. But maybe this was just like a personal item that she kept for a while. Um, but still, 90 into 130 is still a great profit. The next item she sold is this Vilroy and Bach French Garden Charm Pitcher. And she got this at the Goodwill for $7.99. Um, 
and she sold it for $77 plus shipping over on Mercari. And maybe I misread it. Maybe it was $9. Maybe it was a typo, but I'm pretty sure it said 90. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Again, these are members of my channel. If you would like to join memberships to be featured in a video like this, there is a join button down below. Um, and if you can't find the join button, there is a link in the description to be in this video. You join at level two. So thank you guys all so much. I appreciate it. And check out another video. They're going to be popping up here and here and down below. And also check out all those links down in the description. You guys are going to want to see what they're selling, what they sold, and if they have a YouTube channel, what they're talking about. Thanks for watching.